Uh, so here. So can you hear my voice right? Online students. Yes, <clears throat> right. So what we have seen in the last class is, okay. I said about uh, two methods here. Okay, I said about uh, some methods here. DIR method we have seen. And uh, I said iterator and next methods. So this iterator and next methods are used if you want to implement iteration rules. I mean, all, all objects are not called as a, see here. All objects are not called as an iterable. Or all objects are not called as an iterables. Which objects are called as iterables? Which implements which protocol? Uh, iteration protocol. So how can you implement on your custom class? On the custom class, how can you implement iteration protocol? By overriding two methods. One is ITER method and one more is a Next method. Okay, so here ITER magic method allows an object to be iterable by returning an iterator object. So this iterator object is responsible in generating value when next method is called or given to for loop. Okay, an iterator method is called when iterator function is invoked on the object. And next method is called when next function is called on the iterator object or when iterator object is given to what a for loop. Now these two methods must be overridden in order to make custom classes a what a iterable object. Custom classes an iterable object. You are trying to override how many methods here? Two methods. One is iterator method and one more is a Next method. Okay. Yes. So this is about uh, yesterday's class. Now today we'll try to override. We'll try to see one more magic method. And what is that magic method is? What is that magic method is here? Contains. Okay. There is a magic method called which one? Contains. Contains magic method. Okay. So, now generally, when you are talking about iterables, see, when you are talking about iterables, iterables, yes? You want one more example, huh? Okay, let me tell you one more example on iterator and next. Okay, let me tell you one more example. <clears throat> Okay, for example, so you have a class. Okay, yes. Generally, there is a class called assume that there is a point. So point is a class. And whenever I create a point, I create a point with two values. I create a point with how many values? Two values. So one is a X and one more is a Y. Okay, now point is an object. See here, here, P1 equal to point is an object, right? So this point is having how many values? Two values are there. In point, how many values are there? Two values are there. In point, how many values are there? Two values are there. Okay. Now, can I read these two values? Can I read these two values by using iterator? Can I write iterator of P1? Is it P1 is iterable? Is it P1 is iterable? No. P1 is not iterable. Okay. So, if you want to implement 
iteration protocol if you want to implement iteration protocol you have to override two methods one is iterator method okay this return the point object you have to override iterator method suppose if you don't write this if you don't write this if you don't write this what will happen so will return will it return the iterator object will it return the iterator object no so immediately it is given which error type error saying that point object is not uh, iterable then i want to implement i want to implement iteration protocol means i want to make the point as an iterable then you try to override how many methods here two methods one method is it iterator that returns the reference of the current object and one more is what uh, next which return the next value from the point which return the next value from the point but how it return the values because point is having how many values two values so for that i take one variable called count and here i start counting from zero if self dot count equal to zero i am saying self dot count plus equal to one return the first value okay else self dot count self dot count equal to one so where i am saying self dot plus equal to one and return which value second value i return first value and second value now when i say itr on p1 now my point object has become what a iterable object like list like list can you say list is an iterable or not yeah list is an iterable and it contain how many values five values can i iterate this by using iterator yes because list implement which protocol iteration protocol but how you implement how you implement iteration protocol by overriding two methods one is iterator method by overriding two methods one is iterator method and one more is a next method now suppose if i am writing print if i am saying print next of a it return the next value from point object and what is the next value in the point object x value if i am saying print next of a it return the next value from the point object and that is a y value okay if i run this now that is 100 and one more is what 200 one is 100 100 and one more is a 200 suppose in the same way if i am saying print next of b that this return the next next value from the list and what is the next value in the list 10 if i am saying print next of b it return the next value from the list and what is the next next value in the list 20 so if you want to implement if you want to implement which rules iteration rules or if you want to 
make your object as an iterable if you want to make your object as an iterable then implement that by using two methods one is iteration method and one more is a next method and when next method is called when you call the next function when iterator method is called when you call the iteration function okay understood ashish understood or not right so this is another example so this is another example for this 100 200 and 10 and 20 okay so next uh, magic method which i am talking about is underscore underscore contains method so contains magic method now contains magic method now this contains magic method is an implementation of membership operator so contains magic method is an implementation of is an implementation of membership op operator membership operator membership operator called in in membership operator called which one in so actually in operator in operator is used for searching searching a given value exist in exist in exist in collection of exist in collection of values in operator is used for searching a given value in existing collection of values it is collection of values or it is called as which one Iter iterable collection of values are the same thing is called as iterable collection of values are the same thing is called as what here iterable okay collection of values are what uh, iterable suppose okay assume that i am writing here 10 in now this is a list which contain how many values five values so what in operator is doing it is searching for 10 in this list of values if the 10 is there in this list of values it written true suppose if i am saying 100 in okay 10 20 30 40 50 is it 100 is there in this list list of values no then what is the value it returns false if the element is exist in the list of values, it returns true. If the element is not exist in the list of values, then it return what? False. Okay, right? Now, I want to implement this membership test. I want to implement this membership testing on custom class. Then, uh, you are trying to write one magic method called contains. You are trying to write one magic method called which one? Contains. Contains magic method. You are trying to use the magic method called which one? Contains. So contains magic method or membership magic method use for, okay, use for implementing it is used for implementing 
it is used for implementing membership operator called in used for implementing membership operator called which one in so for that you are using this magic method okay hmm. are getting or not let me tell you with a simple example Okay, let me tell you the simple example by implementing custom class. Okay. For example, assume that when you go for this, for example, assume that I created one class. What is the name of the class is person. So every person, every person <clears throat> is having a name and uh, age. Every person is having a name and what age. Okay, every person is having a name and what is that age. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm saying self dot self dot name equal to name and self dot age equal to age. Now, I am creating a list of person. Now, this is a person list which contain person objects. Now, there is a person object with a, some Naresh with the age of 15. Uh, there is a person object with a Suresh with the age of 40. There is a person object with a Ramesh with the age of 30. Like this, I created person object. So how many person objects are there in the list? Three person objects. Now, I want to search for... I want to search for one person object. I am saying here person. I want to search for a person whose name is Suresh whose age is 40 in uh, which list here? Person list. Into person list. So what will happen in this case? Uh, if I run this, it is written what? Uh, false. It is written what here? False. It is written false. But there is a person Okay, there is a person, right? Okay, there is a person. Okay, there is a person with a... Okay, there is a person with what here? See, so there is a person with a Suresh and what? 40. Is it this object is exist or not exist? Exist. Is it this object is exist or not? Not exist. Exist. But even though it is exist, what is the value written? False. What is the value written here? False. Okay. One minute.
but this person object is exists in the person list this person object is exist in the person list but even though it is written what false even though it is written what false because all these are which objects custom objects now what you have to do you have to okay you have to you have to uh, you have to override for implementing this membership now you have to override so you have to override which method contains method you have to override which method contains contains method so whenever you are using in operator whenever you are using what in operator okay whenever you are using in operator see this is predefined list or user defined list see tell me is it this list is a predefined list or user defined list list is a predefined data type or user defined data type tell me here list is a predefined data type or user defined list is a predefined or user defined what do you say here list is a predefined or user defined uh, predefined list is a predefined data type and it is having its own logic for searching it is able to search only which data types it is able to search only which data type standard data types but it doesn't able to search for what user defined data types it is able to search only standard data types but not able to search what user defined data types what i mean to tell you is list 1 equal to 10 20 30 40 50 now i can write print 10 in if i am saying 10 in list 1 it will search okay it is written true if i am writing a list 2 equal to some 1.5 comma 1.6 comma 1.7 comma 1.8 if i am saying print okay 1.7 in okay list 1 okay list 2 now all now also it will print what true because list is a predefined data type it can able to search only which data types list is a predefined data type and it is able to search for which data types predefined data types but not for user defined data type not for user defined data type not for user defined data type it search for only predefined data type but it doesn't search for what user defined then what do you do it so then what do you do it you create you create your own list what is this list here person list okay you create one list which list you are creating person list and whenever you want to create a list of persons okay you create a person list and this person list receive the list list which is nothing but a data as a list okay data is a list now this is a data as a list so after reading this okay what you have to do you have to override you have to override which method contains method and this contains method receive which one here search value okay now self this contains method receive self as well as what search value this contain method receive the self as well as what search value okay and here you'll be searching it what you are doing you are searching what you are searching you are reading mm. you are reading each time one object which object you are reading person object in a person object what is that here self dot data 
if a person object dot name equal to search dot okay search dot name and person object dot age equal to search dot what is that age search dot name and search dot which one age i make this as a public because it is a private you cannot access it <laughs> so person dot name and person dot age equal to search dot name and search dot age then what you are doing you are saying return true you are saying return true return true you are saying return true you are saying return true okay return true but here i just write result equal to what false if it doesn't found then it return result what is the result it return false okay then uh, i don't use my list now i don't use my list now now this is not a predefined list okay i create i create a list now i am creating a list but this list i am storing in which list person list this list i am storing in which list person list now what person list contain list list of persons what a person list contain list of persons person list is having what here list of persons so what is the data here list of persons okay and what you are reading each time one person object from the list and you are check is it person dot name equal to search dot name search means this person object is what here search this person object is what here search and you are searching this person object inside what you are searching this person object inside what you are searching the person object inside what person list you are searching this person object into what person yes okay that is nothing but self dot data okay yes if it is found then it returns what yes p dot name and search dot name and p p dot age and search dot what age then it returns true otherwise it return false double equal so what is the value it returns true okay it means existing existing list existing list or existing collections work only with existing collections work only with which data types predefined data types but doesn't work with what user defined data types it work with the predefined data types but does it doesn't work with what user defined data types okay right now just to try to understand this understood huh? what i said all of you what do you say here yes or no okay see what will happen is if i am creating a list inside the list if i am storing custom objects is it membership operator worker doesn't work doesn't work because 
list is a predefined data type and it uh, always search only for which values predefined data type values but doesn't work with what uh, user defined then what you are doing it when you are developing custom containers now you develop which container person list so person list contain what uh, list of persons and you want to you want to search for a particular person by using which operator in operator then how you are implementing the in operator by overriding how you are implementing in op in operator by overriding which method here contains method by invoking which method here contains me method okay so that is what i said here so contains magic method is an implementation of membership operator called in in operator is used for searching a given value in existing collection of values or what iterable actually when you are making this in operator now you have to even you have to make this by implementing iterator as well as what next method because person person list is what here iterable when you can say an object is iterable if it implements two methods one is iterator method and one more is what next method when it implement two methods one is iterator method and one more is what next method okay yes understood or not okay yes when you are building your own custom iterables custom iterables you understood see i create a li list like this i create a list with all this it is a list see here i created one list this is a list which contain persons i want to search for a person here i create a person object with this values in in uh, list 1 uh, what will happen will it search uh, tell me will it search or doesn't search Bec because person is a predefined object or user defined object uh, tell me person is a predefined data type or user defined tell me your person is a user defined type or predefined type of person is a user defined type or predefined type of person is which data type user defined data type okay when you are storing this list of persons when you are storing this person objects into the list and when you are using in operator of which oper which data type list data type so in list data type there is one method called which one con contains in list data type there is one method called which which one contains but that contains method of the list is able to search only for which data types the contains method of the list able to search for which which data type values compare which data type values predefined data type values but not user defined only predefined data type values but not user defined not user defined not user defined if you are trying to execute so what is the value written false what is the value it is written false so what is internal it is searching for list one dot what is the method it is calling contains by sending which object person object by sending suresh and what is that party but this contains method of list one doesn't know what to compare contains method of list 
list one doesn't know what to compare, right? Doesn't know what to compare because of that. Because of that, what you what you are doing? You are trying to create your own list. What is the list you created here? Person list. And where you are storing the list of? Where you are storing the list of persons? And you override which method here? Contains method. Where you are sending? What you are sending? Two objects. One is self. Self is nothing but what? Person list. And search is nothing but what? Person object. Actual internally it will call like this. Person list dot what is this? Contains. Whenever you are using in operator. Whenever you are using in operator it calls which method? Contains method. By sending a person object with a Suresh with a value what here? 40. So in the person list <coughs> what is a person list here? Self. <laughs> what is a search object here? Person object with a value Suresh and with the age what here? 40. So from this list every time you are reading person ob object you are comparing person dot name equal to what? Search dot name. Person dot age equal to what? Search dot age. If it is equal, it returns true. If it is not found, finally it returns the result as what? False. Suppose I am writing result equal to person, person, I just write here some Rajesh some 50 in person list. So if I am trying to print the result, what is the result it is written? False. Because is it this object is exist in this person list? No. It is not exist. Then what it is written here? False. So when you are implementing, see when you are implementing your own container, containers <clears throat> okay then you go for go for this otherwise i'll tell you one more example otherwise simple example okay suppose okay there is one uh, there is one container So, there is a container contain how many values here? Two values. One is X whose value is 100 and Y whose value is what? 200. So, I just write uh, object object 1 or C1. C1 equal to what? Container. I want to search. Is it 100 is there in the container or not? If I am saying 100 in C1 and if I say print result. 100 in C1 and print result, what will happen? It is written, it is written error. What is that error? Type error. Argument of type container is not, a, argument of type container is not, a, not what here? Iterable. Then what will I do is, I'll try to override. Which method here? I try to override which method here? Contains method. Where I am writing a self comma, what is that? Search. You are searching. It means you are checking if, okay, if search double equal to self dot x. Okay, self dot x written true. Okay, else, okay, else if, Else if search double equal to self dot y written true. Okay, else I am saying written what here? False. Okay, now I run this. So what is the value written here? True. So I implement which method? Contains. So inside this container you are searching for which value? 100. Now, whenever you are writing this, 
just call C1 dot contains by sending which value? 100. If I am writing result equal to 200 in C1, then again C1 dot, it will call which method? Contains by sending value called 200. What is the search here? 200. Is it 200 equal to self dot x? No. Is it 200 equal to self dot y? Yes. What is value written? True. If I say print result, what is the result here? True. If I am writing a result equal to 300 in C1, okay, C1 dot, so you are over, you are implementing which one? Membership operator. If I say print result, now in this case, written what? False. If you want to implement which operator? Membership operator. If you want to implement which operator? Membership operator. Then you apply this membership operator by overriding which method? Contains method. By overriding which method here? Contains magic method. So that is a contains magic method. Okay. Understood this one? Yeah, all of you. Okay, you understood this? Contains. So contains is an implementation of which operator? Membership operator. Called which one? In. Membership operator called which one here? In. Okay, right? Then uh, next one is making your uh, object as a callable. Making your object as a callable object like function. The next one is underscore underscore call magic method. Underscore underscore which method? Call magic method. Okay, this method is implemented. This method is implemented. This call method is implemented. This, this method is implemented to call the object as a, to call object as a function. To call object as what here? function to call object as what here function you can call the object as a function by using which method yes is nothing but making object as a callable object making object as a which object here callable object you can you can you can you can invoke the object, means you can use the object, you can use the object as a function. What you can do is, you can use the object as what here? Function. You can use the object as what here? Function. You can use the object as a function. Okay, you can use the object as a function here. So that is what will happen generally when you are working with decorators. Okay, when you are working with the decorators. Okay, decorators is a function objects, right? You will be sending one function to what? Another function and that function is invoked. Function is invoked. That is a function object. That means everything in Python is treated as an object. 
So even you create a class and you create an object of that class and you want to call, you want to call your object as a function. You want to make your object as a callable. Then you try to override it. Which method is your call magic method? Generally, this is what will happen. For example, assume that there is a class. <clears throat> there is a class. <clears throat> okay, there is a class called which one here? Alpha is a class. Okay. I'm creating an object of a alpha class with some two values. One is a X. One is a X and one more is what? A y. So I create an object of which class? A alpha class. So what is A? Actually, what is A? A is an object. A is the name of the object. What is A? A is the name of the object. What is A here? A is the name of the object. A is the name of the object. Right? A is the name of the object. It is the name of the object. Right? So can I can I say A with the per parenthesis? What is A here? Object name. But is it A is a callable? Is it A work like a function? Is it object name or function name? Tell me. Is it A is a object name or function name? Is it A is a object name or func function name? Object name. A is a object name. But can you call like a function? Can you call? Can you call like a function? No, you cannot call like a function. If you are trying to execute this immediately, it is given what uh, error? What is the error it is given? Type error. Alpha object is not uh, callable. Alpha object is not uh, callable. But I want to make my object as what? Uh, callable. How can I make my object as a callable? By implementing. Which method? Uh, by implementing. Which method? Uh, call method. Okay. By implementing which method? By implementing which method? Uh, call method by implementing a call method so I am trying to make my object as what <laughs> callable so what I written here some okay here I just write print okay some self dot self dot x comma self dot y whenever I call a it just print what ten and 200. 10 and 200. Okay. Suppose there is a class. Okay. There is a class. So there is a class called product. And this class receives how many values? Two values. <laughs> Where I am saying self dot x equal to x, self dot y equal to y. Then I want to make this product uh, object as a callable. So where it should return the product of these two values. Okay, self dot x into self dot what uh, y. So I create a product object. Now this is a product object with 10 comma 20. I want to know the result of this product object. Now I make this object as what here? Callable. I make this object as a callable. Now you can see the result is what? 200. So if you want to make your object as a callable object, if you want to make your object as what? A callable object. 
if you want to make your object as a callable object, then you are using. Okay, then you are using which method? Call method. You are overriding which method? Call method. Okay. Now this is the call magic method. Okay, I think you understood this. Okay, the magic method called which one? Call. Call is a magic method. To, to make your object as what here? Callable. To make your object as what? Callable. You are using which method? Call method. Okay, right? What year? Are you getting or not, you people? Yes? Please tell me. Okay. If you want to make your object as a callable, then you are overriding which method? Call method. Okay, right? Yes. Okay, I think you understood up to this, right? Okay, right? So, there is a, some magic methods. Okay, there are some magic methods like there is a magic method called so there is a magic method called get it. There is a magic method called which one? Get item. Underscore, underscore. Okay, what is the name of that method is get it. Okay, there is a magic method called which one? Get item. Get item magic method. Actually, this get item magic method, okay, this get item magic method, when you want to access, when you want to access, when you want to access the values of the object by using their index, or if you want to apply indexing and slicing on your objects, then you try to open override. Suppose list is there. So how you access the values from the list by using index? You will say list 1 of 0. Then when you write in the square bracket 0, so internally it calls list 1 dot. What is the name of the magic method is called get item of which one? 0. So when you are writing in the square brackets, so whenever you are saying square brackets and sending this zero, you are accessing the va value by using index. But internally it calls which method? Internally it calls which method? Get item method. Internally it calls which method? Get item method. For example, there is a string with Python. There is a string with what here? Python. If I am writing str1 of 0, then it gets a value or character at which position? First position. And what is the character at first position? B. But how it is getting the value by using a method called which one? Get item. Get item of which one? 0. So what is the value at 0 here? B. In the same way, when you are building your own class, okay, when you are building your own class, okay, you are building your own class. Suppose you are building your own class. You are building your own class. Assume that there is a class. Uh, some assume that I am creating a 2D vector. Okay, there is a vector 2D. And this 2D vector is having how many values? 
okay two values one is x and one more is a y and where i'm saying self dot x equal to x self dot y equal to y okay then i try to override str method that returns string representation of what object self dot x comma self dot what y so what i am doing i am creating a vector 2d vector by saying vector okay vector 2d with two values 10 comma 20 no, now i want to access i want to access the values of this vector by using index can i write x equal to v1 of 0 can i write x equal to v1 of 0 tell me can I write x equal to v1 of 0? Tell me. Yes or no? No. I cannot write it. If I am writing it, immediately it is given what type error. Vector 2D object is not subscriptable. Vector 2D object is not subscriptable. When you can make your object as a subscriptable, if you over override if you are override or implement which method get item method when you implement which method get item method so here key key is nothing but index key is nothing but what here index if key equal to zero then you are saying return self dot x else if key equal to one then return self dot y else you are raising what you are raising one error saying that index error saying index out of index out of what here range now I write v1 of 0 and print a x value Okay, print x value. Okay, print x value by saying this is x value 100. <laughs> if I am writing v1 of 1 and print y value. And this is y value which is nothing, nothing but what? 20. If I am writing z equal to v1 of 2. Then what will happen rises? Which error here? Index error. So how can you implement? How can you make your object as a subscriptable? By overriding get item magic method. So the get item, I can say the get item magic method allows you to, okay, allows you to index index the objects and access access what do you call it as access an access okay attributes attributes or values attributes or values use using okay using what here Okay, using what here? Square square brackets. Using a square brackets. Using a square brackets. Okay. So it means making your object as what? Uh, subscriptable. Making your ob object as what here? Subscriptable. So that is done by overriding which method? Uh, get item method okay now yeah you understood this magic method yes what do you say here you understood this get x get get item magic method yes or no okay so if you want to make your object as what uh, <coughs> subscriptable means you want to access it by using 
you want you want to access it by using index you want to access it by using what index okay then you access it by using index by using what uh, get a item okay so there is two magic method this is get item you understood or not or i say yes yes or no you understood this magic method what do you say here yes or no people are not saying anything okay so i added already added here okay so this is for predefined objects this one huh? it's already added this is for predefined this is custom classes and this is for predefined objects one is user defined types and one more is a predefined types okay you understood accessing the content of the object using uh, indexing and slicing now you have two more magic methods see i said no there are more, more than 60 magic methods are there more than 60 magic methods are there okay but i am trying to tell you some of the magic methods okay which might be helpful in understanding the operations of what is some predefined objects now you have to under, understand how this list is subscriptable okay so list is having a method called get item so without using index now suppose if the question is without using square bracket can you read the value from the list okay without using square brackets can you read the values from the list using index yes but how you read it by using get by using which magic method get item magic magic method okay yes yeah so these are now anyway tomorrow i'll tell you some more magic methods okay i think you understood this up to this you understood or not okay so tomorrow i'll tell you some more magic methods okay like today will I I'll stop here and tomorrow we'll see some more magic methods. Okay. So thank you. We'll see tomorrow. Right. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, right. Thank you, yeah. Thank you.